Hi and welcome to our video. Uh, today, we would like to present to you assign an assignment on modern control system. So our our topic is missile control system. A high performance missile control system needs sophisticated control mechanism. A model of a missile system with a cascaded compensation network GS is shown in figure 6. So there are two questions that need to be answered. The first one is A, which is draw the boot plot of the system and determine the gain and phase margin of the system. Next is B. We are required to design a capacitor lead or lag so that the phase margin would be at least 30 degree. We need to produce our design and we are allowed to use Scilab or MATLAB for our work. For this project, we use Scilab. <coughs> so, the first thing we need to do is to input the numerator value and the denominator value to obtain the phase margin which is PM in short form and gain crossover frequency which is GCF on the port plot so according to the code we need to write num equal to 40 for our case which is the numerator and the denominator which is s times s plus 5 times s plus 2 and then press enter we can see there is an undefined variable error because we did not define the variable s in this code so we need to define the variable first which is s equal to percentage s then just enter again the num the numerator and the denominator and then we need to initialize the tf which is the transfer function so write tf equal to syslin and the other thing then to show the margin the it, we need to type show underscore margins and the variable which is tf to show the margin so this is our boat plot that is shown when we enter the code just now so we get the face margin value which is 15.27 degree and the GCF gain cross of frequency which is 0 0.37 hertz which is equal to 2.347 red radian I'm sorry radian the PCM and GCF is shown in the board plot here as you can see and to know the value of the P PM and the GCF we can input PM spacebar GCF equal to P margin TF then press and hit enter then we will get the value of GCF and PM as shown in the diagram above from the board plot, we gain the value of GCF gain crossover frequency and PM phase margin. The value of gain crossover frequency is 0 0.373675.1 degrees and phase margin is 15.272026 degrees. Okay, to, to obtain the value of GCF in radian, we multiply the current value of GCF by 2 pi and we will get 2.347 radian which also equals to omega m then to obtain the additional phase we minus 15.27 degrees from 30 degrees and we get 14.73 degrees then to find the phi max we add the additional phase which is 14.73 degrees with 15 degrees 
which is the safety margin. Then we get the value of phi max which is 29.73 degrees. The formula for phi max is shift sign alpha minus 1 over alpha plus 1. Okay, from the equation phi max equal to shift sign alpha minus 1 over alpha plus 1 equal to 29.73 degree we are going to find the value of alpha firstly move the sign to the opposite side and it will become alpha minus 1 over alpha plus 1 equal to sign 29.73 sine 29.73 is a value of 0 0.496 okay then move the denominator to the move the denominator alpha plus 1 to the other side and becoming alpha minus 1 equal to bracket alpha plus 1 bracket 0 0.496 the equation will be alpha minus 1 equal 0 0.496 alpha plus 0 0.496 after we expand it next we make the e make the equation equals to 0 then we are then we are managed to find the value of alpha which is 2.968 the formula for omega m is 1 over top times square root of alpha. Omega m equals to 2.3478 and alpha equals to 2.968. We are going to substitute the value of omega m and alpha into the equation. Which will be omega m equals to 1 over top times by square root of 2.968 equals to 2.347 then we are going to get the value of top which is 0 0.247 to obtain the GCS value the formula is 1 plus alpha times by top times s over 1 plus top times s equals to 1 plus 2.968 times by 0.247s over 1 plus 0.247s then we are going to get 1 plus 0.733s over 1 plus 0.247s after all of the calculation by using the scilab we need to confirm that our pm is greater than 30 degree so we first we need to initialize the s and then we need to input the new num numerator and the new denominator and then we need to also input the old numerator and old denominator after that we need to calculate tf which equal to new numerator over new denominator times old numerator over old denominator and we can calculate our PM and GCF by the combined PM GCF equals to P underscore margin TF then you will see that our PM is greater than 30 degree which is 34 Point eight five degree, while the GCF is zero point four five hertz. This proves that the compensator is a lead. So this is the board plot after the new PM and GCF. You can see the value of PM and GC GCF is leading than the original plot so that's the end of our assignment thank you